Hey, old Blender fans out there. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, skin and the way skin works. Now, if you look at this picture here, you'll see that flesh is rubbery and elastic. So, um, we're making a rig. If we have an organic model, it should be rubbery and elastic as well. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use soft body modifiers to uh, make plastic and rubbery flesh. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is if we click on our little spear here, and we go over, and I'm going to make a new vertex group. I'm going to call this um, skin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to select the whole thing. And I'm going to go over to my um, weight keys here. I'm going to hit 0.7. Assign. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select the top pixel here. Or select the top vertex. Then I'm going to scan down. I'm going to hit one, sign. So if we go into our weight paint mode, it should look something like this. And what's going to happen is, is the light areas are going to be fleshy, rubbery skin in a model. And the dark red areas is going to be a rock hard stuff that's not fleshy, rubbery skin. Okay, so we have that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over. And I've added a soft body modifier to there. And what you're going to do is you're going to have two things checked. Soft body goal and soft body edges. I'm going to go ahead and free this bake here. The settings I use is you're going to set stiffness to 0 0.7. The amping to 5. And then you're going to select your uh, vertex group here. So I've done scan, so I'm going to select scan. And I'm going to set default to 0. Then under here, under um, um, under uh, soft body, I'm gonna set mass to zero. Okay, what I've done here is I've animated some pokers. These are gonna poke my little uh, poke my little skin material here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just uh, bake the cash. Okay, now if I animate, you'll see my skin is hard on top, and rubbery light skin um, on, the, on the center part here. So, anyway, uh, this can be used if you're animating flesh and you want to behave like real flesh. I would probably recommend you disable the modifier while you're animating and keyframing and all that. And just as a final step, just bake it once you got your animation how you want it. And you should get some pretty uh, fleshy, uh, rubbery skin that behaves just like real uh, skin. So anyway, uh, this has been another Blender tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys later.